Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're just going to be talking a little bit about professions in Brighter Shores. Today we're actually not going to be discussing really anything new, but I want to talk about some of the early game episode uh, professions. So there's a couple to really name, and that's going to be Chef, Fisher, Forager, Alchemist, Woodcutter, and Scout. Those are going to be some of the free-to-play professions that we can and already know are in the first two episodes of the game. And because of that, I want to talk about specifically which one of these is going to be most likely the best or most sought out. So a lot of people are going to be jumping straight to Fisher. Fisher is always a very big favorite, popular skill in previous uh, you know iterations of games like this. So I think Fisher is going to be very popular. And because of that, Chef is also going to be popular. It kind of stems together, I assume. And one thing to kind of note is Alchemist. Alchemist is something that, you know, in most games is very, very popular. Coming from New World and OSRS and many other games that, you know, take so many different potions, whether it's combat potions or prayer potions or um, stamina potions or any of those, they're very, very, very useful. So health potions obviously going to be a big deal when pushing into later parts of the game, I assume. And you have to remember that people are going to want to get to episode four as quickly as possible. You're not always going to be the strongest version of yourself when you're pushing to get to these episodes as quickly as possible. Therefore, you're going to need health potions or strength potions or whatever they're going to be called in the game of Brighter Shore. So I do see actually Forager, which I assume goes very well with Alchemist, being the two main skills for a lot of people to actually level and I think it's very very useful in episode one and two for free to play players to actually jump on board with right away because chef and Fisher is going to be more of a money maker I don't think there's going to be too much of a reason to make money in the early stages of this game you got to remember that there is no trading available at the release of the game because of that chef and Fisher to me seems pretty useless unless you are going to be somebody that uh, you know wants money to buy certain items in the game I'm not even really sure entirely what you could all buy in the game um, um, but, you know, it does at this time seem like Forager and Alchemist may be potentially the best two skills as a free to play player to jump on board with. Now, as a premium member, I will say the three and four episode three and four. We know a couple of the skills already confirmed miner, mine fighter, blacksmith, merchant, detective, leather worker, watch person and of course stonemason. I assume that Miner and Blacksmith is going to be very lucrative like usual, and it's just because you got to remember that people are not going to get there right away. So Miner and Blacksmith is something that is in Episode 3. It's going to take people a little while to get there, I would assume. Um, I don't believe they give you access to all of these at once. I think you have to unlock them slowly through probably the main quest. Um, so because of that, I think Miner and Blacksmith potentially become some of the more lucrative skills or professions in the game. I'm not all sure what they do quite yet, but that is just my understanding of what could potentially be the case. I also think that there's money making obviously with the merchant detective uh, could be good with completing bounties is what they have here on the Brighter Shores wiki as well. So th there's just a lot of information out there that we don't know too much about yet. It's just fun to speculate a little bit. Just remember, like I said previously, right in the beginning of the video, I did say there's no leaks. There's nothing new about this video, no new content. It's just talking about what uh, you know, could be the case when the game comes out because there's so much really to speculate on. And I kind of want to just share my thoughts with you guys and see what you guys think down in the comments below. What skill or what profession are you guys going to focus in on as Brighter Shores releases on November 6th? So, um, you know, like I said, Forger Alchemist makes the most sense to me. I assume there's potions that are going to be very useful for the you know, whole time or whole playthrough. So because of that, I think that uh, even when trading does come, people are going to want your potions. Uh, just kind of giving you my thoughts. I want to hear what you guys think. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. We have a lot of different guides coming up here as soon as the game releases. Just wanted to make a little video on uh, my thoughts on the skills and professions and uh, kind of giving you my idea on the free-to-play skill that's going to be the most lucrative. And then obviously with the miner and blacksmith potentially being the most lucrative in episode three. And then I like I said, Merchant, I'm not sure on any of the Episode 4 ones very well. We haven't seen many uh, much content on it, but I'm excited to see what happens.